Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the Cambridge Los Angeles showroom in West Hollywood and I'm here Philip Rees with his movie The Scarecrow. Let's take a look at a clip. Hey, I got a new bed. I was going to throw these sheets away. You're not seriously offering me our sheets. These are nice. They're expensive. I, I thought you might want them. Maybe something familiar for when he sleeps over. Uh, Philip, uh, great to have you here in the studio, and congratulations on your film. Thank you. Thanks very much, Dan. Um, it's awesome. It's uh, great to have a fellow a Brit in the house. Uh, we, we, we emigrated over here, but um, <laughs> for those that haven't seen your, your, your film, um, tell us a brief synopsis of The Scarecrow. Uh, basically, it's a, a day in the life of a 40-year-old gentleman who's recently divorced, and he's kind of coming to terms with a life uh, alone, really. And uh, we meet him with his in the late afternoon with his adolescent son mm -hmm. and uh, kind of having uh, a moment together and then he drops the son off to his ex-wife's house mm -hmm. and there's an encounter there that doesn't go too well and then we follow the father home to his uh, apartment. Yeah, I, I, I was, you know, because Obviously, I'm sure everyone, if they've not experienced themselves or have known others that have experienced it, but there's some very touching moments because it's hard for, you know, for children to kind of go mm -hmm. through those sort of changes and uh, with some really powerful performances. Which brings me on, what was kind of some of your biggest challenges in, in, in making it? Was there any challenges or was it, was it all no, plain sailing? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> there are always challenges, but, you know, I would say in pre-production, we went through a couple of producers. Mm -hmm. Um, which was tricky uh, and we got to a point where I had to let one go and I thought they had done or they had said they had done a bunch of things regarding you know uh, getting our locations and things mm -hmm. like that and, and that hadn't been done so we were kind of at the 11th hour 12th hour <laughs> and uh, we didn't have our locations so there I was you know, end of day on a Friday trying to get the permits for a location we had to shoot mm -hmm. the next day so that stuff, those logistical, bureaucratical, mm -hmm. is that a word? Bureaucratic. We've made it, we've, we've made, made it happen. Uh, they, they were the issues. But once we hit the set on the first day of shooting, things really did fall into place. Mm -hmm. um, and there were moments where you're seeing a scene play out on the monitor. Like, that works. That, <laughs> that, 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 that's gonna, I'm gonna end the scene with that shot. So when, you, when the, those moments, isn't it great when that happens, magic, when yes. that just happens and you suddenly thought, ah, oh, that's why we did this. This, it, is, completely. this is, this is, yeah, that's wonderful. And it was talking, it was kind of as if the, the project was talking back to me. Yeah. Like, this is, you, you, you've you created the, the maison scene and mm -hmm. here it is now and you, oh. Mm -hmm. It was uh, something I hadn't experienced before, obviously. I've, this is yeah. the first thing I've directed, so. I mean, I, this, that, that seems really surprising to me, but I, I certainly feel like you should be doing more in this direction um, because it certainly obviously works. So then kind of, you know, in your first directorial, your directorial debut, mm. uh, what's it like to have your film selected for, for New Filmmakers LA and have it present in front of an audience? What does that feel like? It was a privilege. It was a privilege. It was a great attendance, smart questions during the Q&A by everyone. Everyone seemed very, <laughs> but with yourself and, and the audience. <laughs> It was great, and just seeing that something like this exists, an alliance like this where young filmmakers can come together or not so mm -hmm. young. Um, I, I, I mean, I thought he was 21. He tells me he's got a five-year-old, but I don't believe him. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, it was, it's an organization that should continue to, uh, I mean, you guys know what you're doing, I but we need more of these things. You know, I think in, the, in, in Europe, maybe, we can, uh, there are funds for mm -hmm. the arts, mm -hmm. more so, mm -hmm. we feel. But a lot of these are, when you told me you're a non-profit, I was even more impressed. So. Mm. Well, we, we, we certainly appreciate that because we, you know, we're, we're trying to create a platform for everyone to you know, have their, their film, their voice, their stories um, shared. So you know, we, we appreciate those kind sentiments. Um, 
looking looking into you know obviously the fact you've you've had this experience as, as an actor and, and and you know obviously moving from another country and all those kind of things like you know anyone that would sort of want to follow in or dream about doing you know an acting career or moving across here what what kind of advice would you give to anyone that was wanting to have the sort of la dream it's that's a big question because i'm asked that a lot uh the first thing i'd say is don't do it all right, there you go. Do Cut. something else. I really would. <laughs> yeah, no, and there was, if you were to ask me 10 yeah. years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, maybe less so, but now we live in such a celebrity obsessed, fame driven culture mm -hmm. that a lot of the people asking that question are asking it for the wrong reasons and are pursuing it for a whole other set of yep, agreed. Uh, rewards. So I would. And I mentor kids here in, you know, in LA and I, I do all that kind of stuff. I can tell, I feel like I'm being mentored myself. And a lot of the great. time I just say, don't, find something else that you're equally yep. passionate about and pursue that because a life in the arts um, or a life in Hollywood, that may not necessarily. <laughs> you know, I think it's a very valid point. If you can hear that statement and still want to do it, exactly. then you should do it. You know, 100%. and, uh, and um, well, we'll have to return for your for your, for your biography uh, soon because uh, you're a very inspirational guy. But but thank you for sharing the scarecrow. And I, I really want to see uh, much more of your of your directing as well as on camera as well. Thank you. So we'll look forward to the feature. Appreciate it. Oh, you're thank welcome. You. Thanks, mate.